make some noise. Please make it welcome Russell Pearson. Thank you. Ooh. Three, two, one. That's uh, enough exercise for today. My name is Russell Pearson. Uh, that's Russell Pearson. Not a fan necessarily of my name. It, uh, it wasn't my choice. I didn't get to select it. Uh, my grandfather, his name was Russell Pearson, and uh, he was determined to actually pass that name down as a legacy. So he named my father Russell Pearson and then me Russell Pearson. Wouldn't you have picked a better name than Russell to actually pass down through the generations? I mean, I could have been, uh, I could have been Henry, Henry the Great, or I could have been uh, William, William the Conqueror. But instead, I'm Russell, small business owner in Mount Waverley. Fantastic. I've turned 40 recently. Uh, that's been a bit of a shock to the system. And uh, what I've discovered is that 40 is very much like uh, being a teenager. There's a lot of change. Oh, can I get you anything? Like a watch? <laughs> so very much like a teenager, my body is changing. I'm finding hair just about everywhere. I've got hair on my back. I've got more hair in my ears. I've got hair on my palms, which is weird. It might actually have anything to do with turning 40, but, um, but that's very strange. Uh, I, uh, other things that are happening is my sex drive has really gone up. I'm actually finding that I'm looking for sexual opportunities just about everywhere. So recently, <laughs> I got on Tinder, as you know, a lot of the people have done here today. Uh, and, and what I've realised is that when you swipe left, that's bad. When you swipe right, that's good. Okay? That's pretty easy to understand. So I got on the app and I'm like, oh, swipe right. Oh, yeah, swipe left. Hmm, swipe right. Oh, Mike's girlfriend. Well, that mouthy girl used to uh, think she was always right. Well, not today, honey. Swipe left. <laughs> So uh, my wife's not overly happy with my Tinder addiction, hello honey, um, but uh, she is in the audience. Uh, but, uh, but Ben Horowitz is very, very excited about it, aren't you Ben? Yes, mate. Thank you, mate. Uh, the, the other thing that tends to happen uh, when you turn 40 is your body starts to fall apart. Uh, so I found that's happening a lot. Um, I recently had a bowel resection, which they took out 30 centimetres of my bowel, which was weird. A little less full of shit than I used to be. Uh, I've now got spondylosis. Uh, spondylosis is strange. It's where your vertebrae start touching in your neck, and a pain just shoots all the way down your arm and eventually goes numb, which is helping the hairy palm situation. <laughs> The other thing that's happening uh, is uh, I've got glaucoma in my eyes. I thought that was a sexually transmitted disease, but apparently it's not. Uh, and uh, just the, the whole thing is just very, very weird turning 40. And so while you may know that I got my name from my father and my father's father, you may not know <coughs> that I was brought up by wolves. <laughs> uh, I was part of the wolf pack. Uh, I had five brothers. And, uh, and they had great names, like one was called Killer, one was Mayhem, and then there was Steve. Steve was a prick, but he was a real jokester. And we used to do all sorts of things, we'd frolic in the forest, and we were really close, we were a close-knit team. And one day, a, uh, a tiger walked into our territory, and we all got together as a team. His name was Shere Khan funnily enough, and uh, he lauded it over everybody. We, we got together and we beat him. No, that didn't happen. That's just one of our favourite favorite movies in the wolf pack. We absolutely love it. Um, and you know, Steve, he's an absolute killer when it comes to a joke. And one day he said to me, hey, Russell. And I said, yeah, hey, Steve. And he said, knock, knock. And I said, who? We have so much fun in the wolf pack. It is so good. That's a wolf joke for anyone who didn't get it. Um, so I am turning 40 and it's confusing, so I'm looking online for some sort of education and I'm looking at a lot of articles. And one of those articles I looked at recently had three particular points. And the first point was that when you turn 40 you might start forgetting things. And so I have found that to be true. I'll walk up to a drawer and I'll open it up and I'll just look at it and go, I don't even know what I was trying to get out of this drawer. I'll walk into a room and I'll say, why am I here? Or I'll leave a shopping centre and go, where are my children? <laughs> the other thing that tends to happen, and it's one of those things that you discover when you, when you turn around 40, is that 
you can't look at carbs the same anymore. It's really disappointing. I think I just turned off the mic. There I did. Anyway, what I've discovered is with carbs, I've tended to get a little belt around here. I don't mind it. I like to think of it as my experience belt. And for any of those D&D &D players, any Dungeons & Dragons players in the audience? Ooh, I thought that you would be out with the ladies, but here you are. Um, <laughs> For any of those, they would understand that it's, uh, you know, an experience belt is something that adds to your experience. And so it's a little bit of a plus one to diabetes. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, the final thing on the article was a little bit confusing and something I don't necessarily relate to. It said that I might get early onset menopause. Now, it is very hot in here, though, and my periods are all over the place. Thank you very much. Russell Pearson!